guys, my name is Keith Dorotis, no not the leader and superior of Club Lawsome, aka lover of animated shows and movies, and I am here with Kobe. SK now set dial tone, eh, Scout? Hello, spy. <laughs> Sad. Sad Master, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Oh, okay. Simpy. Howdy, hi. Hi, my name is Simpy, and I exist. <laughs> and of course, Estes. <laughs> Wait, are you beatboxing? So first things first, how are we doing this lovely Saturday afternoon? The other day, the other day I watched the Loki better. season two. The other day I watched the Loki season two. The other day I watched the Loki. What's going on? He's doing like season two. The other day I watched the Loki season two premiere. Wait, wait, Sad, did you watch the season two premiere yesterday? I, I did. It was, it was actually really good. <laughs> you did. I'm a, it's just, I'm it's fine. just you felt. He he said it three times. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah, it was like three times. Guys, I think he watched the Yoki season two premiere. Yeah, he but did. I would have said it only once if I wasn't being interrupted. Oh, well, yeah, true. <laughs> Plus, I forgot to mention, finally, the awesome official YouTube channel has reached 100 subs. So thank you guys for that. No problem. Insert this meme oh, here. Oh, thank us. Thank Insert you. this meme here. Hold on, I'm going to send a meme. Put this in the video. Put it in, because this is our reaction to reaching 100 subscribers on our podcast. Yeah, it's like after like two long years of doing this, I'm really proud. Genuinely thankful that we literally finally reached 100 subs. Hopefully, by the end of 2024, we might get to even higher subs, like 200. I don't know. Let's keep going, boys. We can do it. Yeah. Oh, you know the meme was that this. Hold on, I'll send a gif of it instead. Like, are you gonna put it in the this meme one. section or the general? This one. General. This one. Oh, there Penguin. you go. Thank goodness. With that being said, yeah. we sure is just get to the hell of a boss. Predictions, which is for episode 7, all the way through 12, because we already know, not long ago, Vipsy Pop made a Twitter post revealing the episode titles. But before we get into that, we should probably talk about our thoughts on the season so far. <laughs> Decent. Some of the episodes are kind of mid. Some of them are good. The last one was great, in my opinion. Yeah, to me, I feel like season two may have some ups and downs, but so far, I think it's somewhat still an okay season for me. Let's hope season three will be better. And Can doesn't I raise my hand? Yeah, divided. Yeah, today we just start predicting episode seven because. Where we left off in the sixth episode, we know we've already gotten a lot from episode six stuff which we dissected about, you know? All right, we should just get to the prediction time, starting with episode seven, which it is the Mammoth Magnificent Miss Muse. The Mammoth Magnificent. <laughs> We just start the predictions starting with the Mammoth's Magnificent Musical Mid-Season Special featuring Pizzarelli. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, great. A musical. I mean, we've been knowing Hell of a Boss and Hasman Hotel is a musical, but to me, I feel like Hasman Hotel is going to have more and more songs than Hell of a Boss because Hell of a Boss seems to have one song per episode. But with Hasman Hotel, it's just going to be a full blatant on musical. So for this episode, it's just going to be more of a musical. They're going to have more and more songs on just in that episode. Yeah, I hope the songs are actually good. Much like with the season itself, they haven't really been that good recently. Like, like the songs weren't good for you? Like, both the season and the songs weren't all that great in my eyes. Mid. Mid Z-pop. Well, last week, I already made a prediction in which when we saw the gif of Mammon, it got me thinking that it could be most likely Mammon that further drifted Liz and Fizzarali from seeing each other. 
Because we Why did... does Bam have to make her character so hot? Yeah. Just tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Just like tell last, me about it. Last <laughs> week, I literally <laughs> said that the design of Mammy looked exactly like a Christmas tree, which is no coincidence that the episode will most likely be uploaded on Halloween, which is the day before people will start to have all of these Christmas decorations ready to go. And now that we know what Mammon looks like, that's pretty much four of the seven deadly sins representatives, I guess you could say. Wait, what sin is Mammon? Greed. To me, Mammon is going to be like more of the bad one. I wonder because... who the one for Envy would be. I'm not sure. I, because... I just want to raise my hand. Has... Like, we've been introduced. Sure that's my sin. But so far, we know about the embodiment of pride, lust, gluttony, and greed. The embodiment of pride is apparently Lucifer from Has Been. And Asmodeus is, is lust, Beelzebub is gluttony, and Mammon is going to be greed. A and quick I... side note, quick side note. Yeah? Like, for a show like this, I was kind of expecting for the gluttony ring, for them to make jokes about people being obese and loving food and shit, but I'm surprised they actually didn't really do that. They actually made the embodiment of gluttony kind of hot. Yeah, like, I really <laughs> liked her design, and the Cotton Candy song was such a bopper, just from watching that eighth episode. Mm. Even who if it wasn't too babe long, can't be, well, Who said chubby babes can't be hot? Uh, but in my eyes, I, I feel like bring, uh, I the man is going to be... Yeah? Why would they celebrate Christmas in hell? That's the birth of uh, Jesus. Wouldn't, they be sub wouldn't their Christmas be Halloween? Oh my, I mean... Can I be like a I'm nightmare just, before Christmas thing? Yeah, that's what I most likely feel like. I guess that's fair. Because I'm not sure I what the fair. plot is going to be for episode 10 or 12. Yeah, but like I was saying, for the Mammon character, since he's going to be the king of greed, it's really going to be interesting how they're going to flesh out Mammon being the main antagonist to Fizzarali because to me, I feel like Mammon was the one that revived Fizzarali, who nearly died from the firework explosion, and was trying to prevent him from seeing Blitz. One more, th one more thing I want to bring up. Yeah? Now, I'm not sure if this is real or not, but I think I saw a leaked little storyboard or whatever of, of, of Stella's brother being in episode 7. Again, I'm not really sure if it's real, but I think I remember seeing something like that. Or maybe it was another episode, I don't know. Yeah, we're not sure. Oh, I know. Episode 7 is going to be really interesting. Should we move on to episode 8 now? Yeah. Which is yeah. the full moon. Oh my god. The full moon is clearly going to be a Stolitz episode. I can just... Like, I can just tell you that right now. The moon episode is going to be that picture I just sent right before the child who wanted the chat. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. From the 6th episode, we know from the B-plot that Stolitz and Asmodeus had this meeting in which... Stolas wanted the crystal from Asmodeus so that way he could give it to Blitz. So I feel like on the full moon, Stolas is going to give that crystal to Blitz. To Blitz. Yeah. What else do you think might go down in episode 8? Like I've said this before and I've said this numerous times, that the communication is their biggest conflict when it comes to the duo of Stolas and Blitz. So... They should really communicate. It's Papa's therapy. So speaking of their relationship... I gotta bring this up. It's kind of frustrating me. Episode 4, we do get to see that Blitz and Solas were sort of talking things out after the, after the event of Ozzy's, but it was through, like, minor texts. Like, why why didn't we actually see them together talking through their issues? Hopefully, Episode 8 will make up for that. Like, I really need to see them having this communication face-to-face -face about it. Like I said, communication, like, when it comes to face-to-face, -face, communication is their biggest issue with the duo. So hopefully, yeah, yeah they, episode they, eight, they will if, make it up you, for it. Now that you mentioned it, that, that shit better happen. They barely be focusing on, like, this massive plot thread right here. Like, they, they hardly ever been focusing on it, which really bothers me. So I hope, I really do hope this eighth episode actually delves into that. And not through fucking bullshit minor text. Given the fact that we saw the sixth episode in which Blitz rebuild that one bridge with his relationship with Fizzarali, hopefully... It won't just immediately happen overnight, but still, it will just slowly improve when it comes to him and Stolas on episode 8. If he can fix his relationship with Fizz, he can fix his relationship with Stolas. Which will most likely lead to apology tour, which he'll think, oh, since 
Those are all the installers have forgiven me. Perhaps I might get someone else to like, to like forgive the things I've done. It's mixed in a prodigy video with a UKA and tears. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't, oh, yeah, don't. Funny. The purpose of my content is to entertain. <laughs> now you got the toxic gossip train song in my head. <laughs> Last week, Caleb and I had discussed that for the ninth episode, that is apology tour. Blitzwood might learn that he had to look more inward and not just outward and try to get like people like Barasaka, which we might think would make a return on the ninth episode to like ask for forgiveness. He has to forgive himself because remember he hates himself at this point in which he took his self-hatred out towards others like Barasaka and Barbie Wire and stuff like that, you know? No one will ever hate you more than you already hate yourself. Did you already say the title of episode 9? Yeah, the episode 9 title was Apology Tour. Oh. I really hope that the ninth episode could really actually be the start of Blitz's redeeming arc. Because that would be really good to think about, you know? Like, another thing I'm wondering is, when are we going to see Stryker again? We did saw Stryker and Oops. I mean, Stryker not working for Crimson Chin. Oh. <laughs> Crimson Chin. The Here comes the Crimson, the Crimson Chin. Oh, God, yeah. We're done with episode 9 now? Yeah, because, well, with episode 10. So. Yeah, episode 10 called Ghost Efforts. So I don't know what ghost efforts but i do know the title ghost efforts is re is a reference to the franchise ghostbusters but i know it could be a halloween episode wait, wait, wait ghost ghost what do you think ghost could be about i am not i, I no wonder clue. for all i know Gee, I, wonder. I really have the idea that ghost efforts will most likely be a halloween episode have some, ha have some courage so say like, word Come on. What plot points are gonna like? Who do? You, what characters do you think are gonna show up? Like, what? What do you think is gonna go down in the episode? Sexy ghost. You know, I really honestly think that hopefully Luna can actually play a bigger role because we've yeah, got, sure. because ever since episode yeah, two period. we've rarely seen Luna except besides the cameo appearances that she's been making, but she rarely had any voice lines of appearances. Exactly. I like Luna, but she is like really underdeveloped. She even rarely used throughout the course of season two. Yeah, she had her uh, voice used for AI without her permission. Wait, really? Wait, Did that really? really happen? Yeah, something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can't just give us half the details. Give the details, man. Come on now. Oh, wow. Like, I'm not entirely sure what went down. Are you telling me Thaddeus Master 87 doesn't know? Is that what you're telling me? I don't really remember the whole story, but that's the reason right. why Luna wasn't really all that present throughout season two. I'm not sure what's gonna happen on Ghost Efforts, but still, it will be going to upload in October. <laughs> For all I know, is, it's just gonna be uploaded somewhere October 24, and hopefully, at least Luna can actually have a chance Wait, to oh. actually be part, playing a bigger part on Ghost Efforts. So, yeah. Coming out on the 24th is two days after my birthday. No, I mean 20, 24th. Birthday. I keep saying 24 as in 2024. But not, not what? 24th. What? Why, why you gotta play with emotions like that? It's not coming out for a year? I mean, it's literally episode 10 seeing Ghost Offer, so it gave me the idea it could be a Halloween episode, you know? For like next year. But it's coming on October 2024. I'm not sure yet, but they haven't announced the release date. All I know is that they uploaded the title, but not the release date. I don't know if you should be saying all these dates. You got a Christmas hat on when it's October. I don't really trust you with dates at the moment. Maybe that's it. Uh, Episode 11. Episode 11, which is Mastermind. That's what I'm really, really scared about. What do you think that one could be about? We, we Mastermind. Mastermind. An antagonist is going to return, and I don't know who. There's so many antagonists for Hell of a that most likely going to be making that return. Whether it could be Crimson, Striker, and Andre Andreffis, and Stella, Mammon, 
Well, all I know one of these attacks is going to make that a turn. I don't, Mammon, for all we know, Mammon could actually be a decent dude like Osmodius and I. No, uh, I, I don't really trust Mammon because remember, support... Mammon being the king of greed and the founder of Lululand, he most likely become the main antagonist for the seventh episode. So I feel like with Mastermind, he'll most likely return, or any other antagonist of the Hell of a Boss show, they're going to return for a Mastermind that will put one of the Hell of a Boss's characters in jeopardy. He but does I have like so this. many possibilities to like yeah. for the Mastermind episode. Remember Octavia, who is uh, Stolas' daughter, right? Because what? I realized that Octavia still doesn't know about Stella's true colors of being abusive to her husband, you know? This is how Stolas will die. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my. Oh jeez. Yes, yes. Finger, finger looking good. Owl. Fried uh, anthropomorphic demon owl. Why finger looking good me, as the Come colonel on, says. Why does he do this to me? Oh, oh, Keith, I, I, I do this to you. I do this to you. You did this to yourself. <laughs> uh, that just makes me even more scared of Mastermind because whatever just it's they're going to talk about. Theorist. Yeah, I'm really about the theories because they really are masterminds. Like they predicted exactly what happened to Fizz. They'll probably predict even more stuff correctly. Bro, the hell of a boss fandom is like The Simpsons. They predicted Fizz's backstory with Biz. I'm pretty sure they made other predictions that I can't name off the top of my head. So you're saying the hell of a boss fans should be Simpsons writers? Yes. Because I remember Simpsons really do predict everything, do they? Which predict everything yeah. that came true. They, they predicted enough. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so we have, yeah. you have one more episode to talk about. Yeah, episode exactly. 12. What's the title for that one? That episode is titled Sinsmas, which is clearly going to be a Christmas, Christmas episode. Christmas episode. I'm calling it Christmas episode. Yeah, we know it's gonna be yeah. a Christmas episode because the title literally says "Since Miss." Like, yeah, you know how you said that it would be weird for Hell to celebrate Christmas. Yeah. Like, what if they actually have their own twisted version of Christmas? Yeah, with their own twisted version yeah. of Christmas and like, having it's similar and having... to Christmas, but it's not Christmas. Not yeah. really Christmas. And with Christmas being mean... the Hell's version of Santa, I feel like. I'm calling you now. Krampus this being the hell version of Krampus. Santa. Oh, yes. that, that would make a lot of sense. Krampus' version of Santa. Yes, it would make if better sense. Uh, it would make I, sense. I, I want to I, I, I put my hand up against that because wouldn't Santa be the one to represent the sin of greed? Wouldn't he be, be delivering Christmas? Wouldn't he be their person? Oh, uh, yeah. Ah. That was played by Mammon. Looks like a damn Christmas tree. Oh wow! Mammon is Santa. Mammon is Santa confirmed. What? What Panic. if? What if Mammoth is just like, oh, you guys can't kill me, and they pull out a wood chipper? It's just like push it, push it. I still can't wait how they're gonna flash out Mammon because. We only saw one GIF, and the design is really just an absolute Christmas tree. Something about Mammon's design. I remember seeing someone compare it to Grimace's early design where he had four arms. Grimace. Yeah. I forgot yeah, it. Oh. Oh. The Mammon shake. Making a meme now. The, the Mammon shake. Give me a minute on that one. <laughs> Anyway, uh, my main hope for all these episodes is that most of them are not mid. Yeah, like, I just also it's hope that thing. the characters will be fully fleshed out well for each of the episodes that we get into. Hopefully, Luna will actually just play a prominent role for episode 10, at least. Yeah, like, at least for episode 10, for Luna just to play a bigger role on this episode because we've rarely seen Luna throughout the whole season. Well, and that was all the predictions, like... Do you think there's still, like, a development process when it comes to... Like, I feel like we already know that they're done developing the seventh episode and already have a potential release date for Halloween. Do you think that they're still in production with 8 through 12? I don't know. 
Yeah, because to me, I feel like I think they didn't want to make the final touches for 8 through 12 because, again, with Hasbro Hotel coming out in the new year, I still feel like they're planning that for January, they're going to dream out the episodes of Hasbro Hotel on a weekly, and then on March ish will be the eighth episode. So, yeah, so with yeah, Hasbro Hotel being their main focus on New Year, they're going to give them more time to finish up the final touches to have each of the Hell of a Boss episodes being ready to go. Is there any more last minute predictions before we close? Uh, so my friend in my chaos is a fan of Hell of a Boss and she actually predicted that Moxie might die for some reason. Why is that? Something to do with Crimson. I don't exactly remember her exact theory. Yeah, I'm not sure if I really see that happening. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it happening either. Like, I do not want Moxie to die. Moxie, you guys been already knowing since when I started watching Hell of a Boss, when Moxie is straight up my favorite character of the show. Even if episode 5 did him dirty. Yeah, that, I, I won't forget about that fifth episode. That fifth episode really had him. Like, I was excited for, for episode 5 before it came out, but after it came out, I was like, uh. I was starting to see some cracks, but then a couple rewatches later, I was like, oh wow. What well, was going on in the writer's room? Definitely one of the worst episodes of the series. Even IMDb rated it as the lowest ranked episode from IMDb. Like, I've checked on IMDb and Unhappy Campus was the lowest. Like, the lowest. Oh, with that being said, thank you all for being today's Lost in Podcast. And for Sippy, I promise you tomorrow I will be watching Murder Drones. I will start watching Murder Drones. I promise you. You better. Yeah, or else I, I will send this assembly drone to your house. So as I still can't wait for Aspen Hotel. Like I've already saw the pilot and I really cannot wait for the show now. I'm so happy that it's gonna be on Amazon Prime, which means I'll be able to watch it. With that being said, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, click on the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any more of the animation content with me and my friends. With that said, I bid you peace. Bye. Say bye, bye everyone. Yes. Hands off, folks. <laughs> Can I raise my hand and say something I did with my free time that might get a few laughs? Yeah. Sure. So so you all so this this is important to it you all know about uh you all know about the conspiracy that jfk wasn't assassinated right what yeah. so so what i decided to do was i went on to that character ai um website and i i i used the mock ai and i just eventually got him to believe that jfk was never assassinated it was a good time, and we should keep doing that. Also, Jackie Kennedy can attest that he died. <laughs> His wife? Yeah, she was right next to him. You don't forget that. But uh, I do suggest you all go on Reddit and look up that subreddit about the assassination and them thinking it's a conspiracy, because it's very funny. Yeah, I'm so before, before it gets too far. Well, if it's anything like the Hasbro Hotel pilot, he's gonna get to it in about a year. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, how I am with shows. Really, this is really me how I am with shows. That, like yesterday, I started watching One Piece, and in that first episode, I loved it. Which one ones? Which one, one Piece which is one? real! No, the, the, the... Which one? The Netflix live action one. Oh Come on, god. Man. Come on, watch the watch the good one. Don't watch that. Come on now. I know it's based on anime. Actually, geez. actually no, actually no. You've never seen One Piece at all. Like I, yeah, you're right. Like I haven't saw the anime, but I've just started you're watching the, the live action. You're one. the per, you're the per, you're the perfect audience. You you don't have any you don't have the good show to compare it to. We can make another type of video where it's like watch parties for shows. The thing is, I've tried that before. We try. I've tried to record, um, and then I edit and upload a full-on watch party when we did um, 
in Kanto. I did in Kanto Walk Party and tried to upload that. Unfortunately. Copyright. Yeah. Shoot. I remember I was there. Yeah, you were there. And so was uh, Gilbert and the Renegade and Adam was there as well. Yeah. Like, I tried to upload the Watch Party of Encanto, but it was demonetized. You miss, said you missed Peter Griffin. Well, I got a surprise for you. Yeah, I can't. Again. No, no, just to get ready to look in general. Oh my god! Yeah. Look, look, it's a combination of your two favorite things. What? <laughs> Ha -ha, oh why? my god. Why? They predicted um, uh, Donald Trump as president before he ran. So I'm pretty sure he was watching it one day. He was like, oh, I'll do that IRL. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Okay, imagine right, with so. me. Um, no, hold on, hold on. Imagine with me. Donald Trump comes out on stage. I was watching. I was watching. Hell of a boss. I gotta stay, say, that stole this guy. He's pretty. He's a he's a pretty bird. He likes Mickey Not I, Mickey Mouse. I'm talking now. about. I'm not talking about you. Mickey Cheese. Listen, rat phobia is a serious problem in America. We gotta deal with it. What even is Biggie Cheese? That's not what's important. What's important is that he lost a dear friend back in the nineties. Oh,